Now I am getting a little bit of fallout underneath the eye there, which is annoying. I'm just gonna start to zhuzh this. You guys, I'm like annoyed right now. This is kind of, okay, we're gonna, <laughs> we're gonna turn this into a save your makeup look. Um, so like I said, I've tried to blend the mattes over each other and they've just gotten patchy and I've got fallout all on underneath my eye. So what I'm gonna do in my cellar water, Garnier micellar water is vegan and cruelty free. I'm gonna clean up that fallout don't do your concealer again yet because we might still have more fallout while we're, while we're fixing this. What a bummer. I've seen other makeup artists use this and they've come out so beautifully. Um, but yeah, maybe just not for me today. All right, I'm going to go and get my mob cream clay eyeshadows to save the day. Here, I was going to get the gray, but I'm just going to use this um, kind of uh, stone shade M112 that I made with Mob. This is one of my favorite shades. It's also a really good contour shade. I'm just going to pat it off my hand a little bit and then I'm just gonna um, use it to like opaquely cover that like shitty blend area right there. Just like that not a lot of product you can see it's not wet or anything like that i don't want too much product let me get this shade right here because it is more of that taupey stone shade like what we've just been using this is going to be so pretty and so i'm going to tap that over the top of the cream clay eyeshadow i'm just going to tap those sparkles kind of all over because that will like blur and blend in that, like, you know, not so great blend that we have going up on up there. There we go. Fixed. Grab a little bit more of that taupe shade and just gonna use it to cover this shitty blend right here. Just gonna tap that over. Not really gonna tap it too much over my crease just mainly on the lid here and just up just a little bit like that and then I'm literally just tapping this sparkly shade on with my finger sparkles are great at diffusing and covering any oops that you've done um, it just kind of distracts the eye and then you can just, you want most of the sparkle to be on the lid and then just whatever's left on the finger, you can just kind of tap that over the socket blend. The socket blend that we did wasn't too bad. That actually blends nicely. It was just most of the mattes on top of the mattes. I'm going to grab the first liner that I see, which is this Victoria Beckham sparkly liner. Just, let's just Canadian tuxedo the sparkles. Sparkle shadow, sparkle liner, why not? We're trying to distract at this point. Uh, I do really love these liners because they're very easy to just smudge in with your finger. Which, that being said, they probably wouldn't be the best liner to do if you wanted to create a really nice wing that just stays put because they are a little bit more smudgy and emollient, which has its own need. Mm, okay, now I'm feeling it. I will say for most people, and sometimes even myself, it's hard to gauge if you look cute or not without mascara. Sometimes you can just be working and working and working, and then you finally are like, oh, I'm so over this. I don't care what I look like. And then you put on mascara and you're like, this is the hardest makeup I've ever done in my life. Sealer on underneath. And this is like a little bit of a crappy blend over here. I actually think that's probably my problem because I didn't actually kind of get past the point where we would do some 
over blending but I did want to show a technique that I use a lot that I leave out of most of my short form content because it just has no context. I use my concealer brush to blend and buff out basically every eye look that I ever do. So see this like crappy little blend part there? I'm just going to use the tip of that concealer brush to just almost like erase and buff that. And then still using that tip, I'm going to use that to kind of shape the eye, bring it upwards a little bit. And then there's that little triangle thing going on there. I'm just going to use the tip of that to just blend and buff that in. This is like a really, really, I've had this concealer brush for years and years. It's actually just a crappy eBay brand, but apparently they're still around and it's the Jessup uh, concealer brush. I do love it. I have some other decent concealer brushes. This is my favorite concealer brush ever. This is the BK Angie Hot and Flashy 8506. I, I just need to go and buy like five of these. This would be a good dupe for this uh, because this is not very well made, but this is a really nice well-made brush. It's just dirty right now. I was thinking about the other day how when I was in my 20s, I used to be in such a bad mood if my makeup wasn't completely perfect or, you know, a spot on my eye wouldn't blend correctly or I couldn't find this exact top that I wanted to wear with my outfit and I just don't care anymore. I don't know if that's a sign of the times where maybe we're like a little more free and less put together or if it is um me getting older and not caring so much about how I'm perceived or what people think of me I think it's the latter I don't know what do you guys think well there you go we definitely saved that makeup with some uh cream play eyeshadow and then just popping the sparkle over the top of it crisis averted I am kind of a little bit annoyed though because I don't know I was gonna make a YouTube video and then also shorten it into an Instagram video but I don't really feel like recommending that um eyeshadow anymore so because it didn't perform well so this whole YouTube video has turned into a big blooper of how to fix mistakes, which is a happy accident because it's good to uh, troubleshoot every now and then. Very unexpected mm, fix it uh, blooper tutorial. I did get gifted those products from Kaleidoscope, but they... I mean, I'm still going to use them because um, I like the sparkles in those quad palettes and I do like the mattes by themselves, but they are just not great at layering with each other, which kind of defeats the purpose of having quad palette, to be honest. Uh, I saved the day with some cream clay eyeshadow and shimmer always uh, fixes our mistakes for us as well. So anything is fixable most of the time. Uh, I hope that you found this helpful and it's 45 minutes and this is going to be real fun to edit out all of my rambling. Bye.